2017, speaking of the lottery, many people feel like they hit the jackpot if they were invested in the stock market this year. Joining us to take a look back at 2017 and a look ahead to 2018, because a lot of folks are saying, well, look, the S&P 500 up 20% <laughs> in 2017. How do you top that? Melissa Armo, owner of the stock Swoosh, and uh, Ariane Vodani at MV Financial join us now to look into their crystal balls. Good morning, Melissa. We're going to start with you. Good morning. What a year it was this year for the market. The market is the winner this year, let me tell you. What, what happens most in 2018? Do we still go up? I believe we still go up. There would have to be some kind of catalyst for the market to have any steep pullback or change trend right now. And there could be some type of geopolitical event that would create that to happen. But right now it's smooth sailing. The market had the best year that it has ever had. And I know people know that the market's run up and everyone's been talking about it all year, but I'm telling you the market had the best year it ever had this year. And here's why. It made more brand new all time highs this year than it ever, ever has. It had more follow through with bullish gas Every bearish gap down was quickly bought up. There were only two pullbacks in March and August that you could have technically bought the market into a pullback, into a rally. And I don't know what today brings. We won't know to four o'clock, but I'm telling you, there's a chance <laughs> the market might close today and make another brand new all-time high today on the last trading day of the year. And that would just be more confirmation that in 2018, which, we're going to move higher. Which would be, for the Dow, 72 record highs. And we're about 100. 63 points away from 25,000 light volume. Well, we'll see some window dressing, which could spike volume near the end. But anyway, uh, it, it could happen with one good rally. Arian, let me bring you in here because Melissa spoke about catalysts that could derail this party that we've enjoyed in our 401ks and investments in 2017. Besides geopolitics, could something like messing up some trade deals or what are the catalysts that you see that could pull down this market? Sure. Well, we're uh, we're overdue for a correction, no doubt about that. But I, a black swan is really the only thing I could see really derailing or a, a, a great change in the fundamental picture. As long as earnings continue to stay strong, I think money will continue to flow in from the sidelines. We're at the late stages of a bull market, and I don't really see anything, like Melissa said, changing in the fundamental overall picture. I think that we've shrugged off every type of worry. Our investors have shrugged them off for the last yeah. two years, and we'll continue to see that happen. And um, it's been a complacent market, but it's also a strong economic picture or a stronger one. So yeah, and, more and of the same. And speaking of earnings, are expected to grow 12% next year. All right. Well, if you take a look at the Dow and the winners and the losers this year, a lot of folks are saying if you look at the beaten up Dow stocks, GE being one of them, down sharply two years in a row, that that, for instance, is a stock to buy in 2018, Melissa. I would not buy GE right now. I'm sorry to say it. It's a lovely company. However, the fact is the stock's in a downtrend. And, you know, technically speaking, you don't buy stocks that are in a downtrend. You buy stocks that are strong. One of the big winners this year is Facebook. Facebook closed at the end of 2016 around 115, and it made new highs this year. Again, brand new all-time highs up to 184. Facebook moved 50%. So we're talking about the market. The market moved over 20%. Facebook moved 50% in a year. Facebook is a good buy. I yeah, Amazon but is isn't it buy. too expensive? And you, you say Amazon, you say Facebook. I'm going to add Apple and I'm going to add Microsoft to that, yes. Arion. Those are the top four tech funds in the S&P 500. This is what a lot of people own. I mean, do you, you keep buying or do you say, all right, they've cooled off recently, minus Amazon. Uh, maybe we, we, we sell them in the new year. I would hold. I mean, it's always a good strategy, right, to, to buy the losers and sell your winners. But at this point, those companies are going to remain strong, and there's no reason to really sell. You might miss out on potential upside. I think uh, generally you, you want to have a good array of different uh, sectors and stocks in your portfolio. You want to remain disciplined. Hold now is not the time to, to really make any fundamental changes because, again, like we talked about, things are looking good and remain the same. Is there a place for GE or these companies that are in a downward trend or doing poor? Early, sure, but when you buy them, that's anyone's bet. You guys are too optimistic for me. I mean, I'm loving it, but you know, I'm trying to play devil's advocate here. I got one oil. Uh, as of late, strong uh, energy market. However, the energy sector is down this year. One of just two sectors in the red for 2017. Is this a sector beaten up in quotes to buy in the new year? Melissa? 
Well, I, I would say anything that's in a downtrend when the market's at an uptrend isn't good to buy. You're talking about on the cheap. The, the problem is that when something's cheap, it could keep going down, down, down until it rides back up again. So you don't want to buy something and then be down before it goes up. The idea is to buy something and then you're up right away. So you get small sides. So different, different oil stocks have been doing better than others. You have to pick and choose, I think, which ones you go for. But I think the tech stocks are the ones that you want to focus on. Just get small sizes even though they're, they're expensive. You're better to have less size and quantity. And if you're a long-term investor, it, it really it really shouldn't matter because you're riding it out for the long haul. If you're a trader, you're in and out for a day or two. And 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 so that's, you know, that's up to you. It depends what your time horizon is. What about Bitcoin, Arian? That, that's a good way we could all make money in the new year, right? <laughs> oh, you, hear, you just keep hearing about it, don't you? Uh, you know, we're, we're not... Um, recommending to our clients to buy Bitcoin. We got a lot of questions on it, and I'm personally staying away from it. You know, the risk is is off the charts, even though everything looks rosy and you hear about it every day and you hear about these success stories. You know, again, we're here for the long-term growth and, you know, participating in market growth, and Bitcoin is just a little too speculative yeah. and uh, there's too much craze around it. So. And we hear about all the hackings and everything else sure. and what governments around the world are warning against in the cryptocurrency market. All right, yeah. Melissa, Ariane, good to see both of you. Thank you for Happy the optimism. New Happy New Year Thanks and to an even me. better 2018. Hope to see you then. Well, coming up today is the last business day.